I am your host as always, Novana Beta, and today we're going to be talking about Uber and how it is not letting transgendered and gender non-conforming people work for them and the people that are working for them are having issues, especially in California. Uh, yeah, so this article was written by LA Times and it was posted on December 10th if you want to check it out. The story that we will be talking about is Adrian Escardo, Escarbedo. And uh, for this article, I will just be calling him Adrian, okay? So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and read some of this for you, okay? It says here, Adrian signed up to be a driver for Uber Eats to support his family. Um, he has a fiance, and she lost her job a little bit, uh, I think it was like four months ago. And uh, they also have a four-year-old son, okay? They recently moved to a place called Bakersfield, and money was very tight, so... Adrian got a job working for Uber Eats, and on his first day, after he signed off to take a lunch break, he said that he was locked out of the app because they said his documentations were not approved. Now, my first problem with that is, how how did y'all approve him and then let him deliver food and then block this uh, account out? That's the first thing that I, I saw immediately that I thought was very foul and... Um, unnecessary if you if it didn't match the first time when you did it why didn't you why did you accept them so it, it really was given fishy right at that point you know it was given very uh suspect okay anyway so it says here that he tried to submit documentations including his uh picture of his eye his picture of his face a copy of his ID and proof of his car insurance uh, over 20 times and each time it was denied and he realized Adrian realized that it was because his ID in the picture that he submitted did not match because the picture on his ID was submitted before he started transitioning and the picture that he had currently that he posted had <clears throat> was him after he transitioned and he had a goatee and a mustache so it says here this is a uh, this is not something that's not, that's uh, unheard of or new with Uber. They have been consistently blocking and removing accounts from people who are transgendered and non-binary and non-binary, and uh, preventing them from working for them. So they ended up. Um, Adrian ended up connecting with American Civil Liberties Union of Southern California, and they actually were able to contact uber and um when they did start contacting them and talking to them about what the problems that were going on with adrian they actually permanently ended up banning him and uh didn't give any explanation to why um if you know anything about talking to the people who are the customer service agency agents for the drivers, if you have any experience with that, if you heard anything about it, then you know that they're very rude. They do not care about what you're talking about. And uh, pretty much that's basically it, okay? As far as how they are, how the, the customer service for the drivers are. Very, very, very rude and just really don't care. And it's really sad that those people um, are basically kind of like the supervisors of the drivers. Anyway... So it says here, um, it says that he spent hours trying to talk to the support desk. And um, it says here that, yeah, they didn't, they weren't able to fix anything. And they said that they, Uber is having a shortage of drivers as it is. And they say that they're so open uh, and, and accepting and they're for equality, but clearly they are not. So drivers are moving to other apps like. Lyft and DoorDash. Lyft is trash too. I ain't gonna lie. DoorDash. Uh, I don't know about DoorDash, um, but I know Lyft is trash too. As far as their uh, their desk help or whatever you want to call it. And um, let's see here. So it says here after. It says here that after um, the agency was able to speak to the spokesman about the problem. Uh, of course, the spokesman lied and said, oh, we're for equality. It's about uh, fraud prevention and this, that, and the third. But if it was about fraud prevention, then you shouldn't have let them even get 
approved to begin with. So it made no sense. But anyway, so carrying on, carrying on. Uh, after they had blocked, permanently blocked um, Adrian's account, Adrian asked them like, okay, well, y'all blocked me. Why did y'all block me? And he never got a response to why. And then um, after the news, after the news article or news agencies or news companies, whatever, they got in, um, they started finding out about what was going on with Uber. So they ended up contacting uh, Uber on the behalf of uh, Adrian. And I think about, let's see, it says here, his count got suspended and they didn't, oh yeah, okay, so. The after after they got in contact with them, the news uh the news article agencies whatever, got in contact with Uber, then um he was able to get a response. Adrian was able to get a response back from them, and they kept saying, "Oh, it'll be some days. It'll be some days. Like give it five business days, five business days." Then, literally two weeks. It took two weeks for them to tell him, you know, that we're not appealing your case. We're not going to activate your account. It's just going to stay deactivated. So the news, uh, the news article and uh, the agency that he was working with kept working with them and pushing them to answer questions. And then eventually he was able to get his job back working with Uber Eats. So it came to a good ending. Um, so, yeah, basically, that's it. Um, if you have any thoughts or if you want to say anything, please leave that in the comment section below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh as always make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell i kind of just was giving you a summary of what was happening because this is like i said this is a very long article and i can only record for so long without it uh having issues so <laughs> sorry if i sounded kind of a little jumbled or whatever but anyway as always i am novana beta and this is i am trans news